your Bibles, uh, would you turn to Luke 24? Luke 24. Amen. Deke, Deke read Luke 24 uh, this morning and 34. And uh, I was saying, look at God. Amen. Thank God for, for the Holy Spirit. Luke 24, I want to start reading at verse 1 uh, this morning. Luke 24, starting at verse 1. Amen. Uh, verse one says, now on the first day uh, of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. And then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And then as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. <laughs> Amen. God bless his word. Flower faileth, the grass withered, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. With uh, This morning, just for a little while, uh, I want to talk about I got a praise. Amen. I I got a praise just for a little while this morning. We, we, we have been locked down and locked in our homes. We've been locked out of our jobs, locked out of stores, and even locked out of our churches. And, and many have been locked to their computers and other electronic devices. And I'm, I'm a witness of that. Uh, I've been locked to my uh, computer and my, my phone and Amazon has been happy about it. Amen. <laughs> Y'all gonna help me. Uh, uh, but with all of the lockdowns, the lock-ins and the lock-outs and the lock-ons, it's no wonder we need a release. Y'all gonna help me today. Listen, the, the, song, the song says, I, I got a praise, I got a praise, and I got to get it out. I got a praise. And if, if you're like me, being locked down, locked in, locked out, and locked on in the midst of quarantine, shelter in place, and other restrictions, I got to praise and I got to get it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder, is there anybody else this morning that's got to praise deep down on the inside of them because You've been holding all of this in and, and you've been on lockdown. You, you've been uh, locked in, you've been locked out and you've been locked on, but it's time to have a release this morning because we got to praise and we got a reason to praise on this morning. Yeah, we, we, we have a reason to praise even in the midst of this pandemic uh, with, with so much fake news and bad news. I'm glad that there is some good news. <laughs> Y'all gonna help me this morning? Uh, yeah, with so much fake news and bad news, I'm glad that there is some good news. Yeah, and it's not, it's not new news, but it still is good news. Yeah, and it's in our, uh, it's here in our pregnant with promise pericope this morning. It's here in our uh, excerpt of ecclesiastical encouragement that we read this morning, our selection of sanctified scripture for us today. And it, it, it looks right here in verse six. It says, he is not here. He is risen. <laughs> That's the reason why we got to praise. But because after all that Jesus went through, verse six tells us that he is not here. He is risen. And listen, 
I just want to share with you this morning that 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 even though we're going through COVID-19 and going through the coronavirus, this pandemic and all of the restrictions and everything that's going on, there is still God's word. And listen, uh, we can rely on God's word. God's word has a message for our misery. Uh, it, it has a scripture for our situation. It has a verse for every one of our valleys. It has a proclamation for our problem. It has a declaration for our dilemmas. It has a song for our sufferings, a word for our worries, and a praise for our pandemic. Y'all gonna help me this morning. I'm here to praise the Lord because I got a praise uh, deep down on the inside of me. You see, I'm determined to keep praising in the midst of this pandemic. Uh, and my declaration today is the pandemic won't stop my praise. You ought to slap your virtual neighbor high five and tell them uh, my de declaration today is the pandemic won't stop my praise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know we social distancing, but we can do it virtually. Yeah. And make that declaration that the pandemic won't stop my praise. But look, 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 leading up to our text today, uh, uh, this uh, timely and trustworthy text for today, let me just give you a quick overview of what our Savior went through getting here. Uh, Jesus' own community rejected him. The Pharisees challenged him. The Sadducees questioned him. The Zealots tried to rush him. The Gnostics tried to reinterpret him. The Jewish leaders dismissed him. The Roman Empire was intimidated by him. Peter denied him. Thomas doubted him. Judas betrayed him. His followers deserted him. The Sanhedrin council arrested him. Pilate did not acquit him. The soldiers tortured him. A thief mocked him. The empire lynched him and death tried to defeat him. But after all that, I got to praise. <laughs> Because the text says he is not here, he is risen. He is not here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is risen. He's risen. He's risen. And, and listen, the first thing I want to share with you from this text, I see in this text, uh, I'm skipping on down to verse 7. It says, the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men. And, and the first thing I want to share with you today, and y'all know how I am, I'm just going to go on and say it, is that when you're going through, uh, you got to realize that in order to get to your praise, sometimes you're going to have some hell. Y'all going to help me this morning. Yeah, yeah. And the first thing I want to see is, is that it says that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men. That's that's hell, y'all. That, that's hell. Hey, listen, we got hell in our homes. We got hell on our jobs. We got hell in our churches. We got hell coming from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. Y'all know what that is. That's the White House, y'all. Uh, we got hell coming from COVID-19. We got hell coming from the coronavirus. And it seemed like on every hand, on every side, up and down, all around us, we've got hell coming at us. Yeah. <laughs> but still, still, I got to praise. I got to praise. Even with all the hell that's coming on, I still got to praise. I ought to have about, about four or five witnesses. Uh, I ought to have about 10 witnesses. Uh, 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 yeah, if I got nine, then I'll make 10. But but listen, I still got to praise with all the hell that's going on. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah. And and so and so I see that, that we're going to have some hell in our lives. But then secondly, the B part says, uh, and be crucified and be crucified. And, and so not only will we have hell in our lives, we will also have some hurts in our lives. <laughs> yeah, we'll have some hurts in our lives. Listen, listen, death is a hurt. De death hurts. And, and listen, the, the text says that, and he says he will be crucified. And we all know that Jesus died. And like I said, death hurts. And, and listen, death hurts those that are left behind. And, and many are expect, expecting, experiencing, I'm sorry, many are experiencing death during this pandemic. And, and listen, I, I got to just share with us that most of us are uh, higher melanin co content on this call uh, 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 this morning that many uh, uh, of us African-Americans 
uh, we need to understand that we're 10 times more likely to die from the coronavirus because of underlying health issues. And if anybody going to take it seriously, we ought to be taking it seriously. <laughs> Yeah, we ought to be taking it seriously. And, and, and but, but, but then let me just keep it real for y'all. You know I'm going to keep it real. And, and listen, let me just say that some of this is because we're just being hard-headed and downright ignorant. Oh, y'all going to help me this morning and not staying at home. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to help you. I'm, I'm putting a PSA in here, too, because, listen, uh, I want to see everybody make it through this pandemic. I don't want to be having to go to a funeral where we got a social distance or we got to drive by. Or I don't want to have to see anybody. I don't want to see any of us go through that. I'm trying to help somebody this morning. Stay at home. Hello, somebody. Stay at home. Uh, they, they have got on social media and they say stay at home saves lives. Uh, and true enough, it does. If you in your house not being exposed to other people that you don't know may have it, you can save your own life. <laughs> That's enough about that. But listen, uh, uh, I know yesterday uh, my wife and I, we went to the store and we were going around grocery shopping yesterday. And I saw people not uh, just look like us, but people of all races were walking around not wearing masks. And listen, this Rona is for real. And we better figure it out. We better understand that this Rona can get to us too and we don't take the necessary precautions to protect ourselves. And so, 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 so first of all, death, y'all, death hurts. But then I see that disappointments hurt. Yeah, disappointments hurt. Listen, listen disappointments hurt. It, it hurts because many of us, we were looking forward to graduations. We're looking forward to vacations. We were looking forward to promotions. And, and, and they have been denied. They have been canceled or they've been postponed. And, and listen, social media is even trying to help out our seniors because they're, they're trying to stand with the class of 2020 by having uh, people from different uh, past years post their high school graduation pictures. <laughs> I just love it how uh, the social media community comes together to try to comfort one another. But 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 listen, <coughs> um, it's disappointing to to not know if you're going to be able to walk across the stage after putting in 18 uh, all of these years. Uh, you turn 18 and you don't put in 12 years or so. Some of your 13 because you was you know you had to repeat. But 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 still. You put in your time and you've been waiting to walk across that stage. You've been waiting to turn your tassels to the other side. You've been waiting to throw your hand up. You've been waiting to get that diploma. But, but, but still, we ought to have a praise because we're still here and the Lord is alive. Oh, y'all going to help me. It's disappointing. It, it, it hurts. There's some disappointments that come uh, from our jobs because some companies are closing down. I've seen that some companies are closing down and won't reopen again. Y'all going to help me. They've been hurt so bad by the economic struggle. So that means people are out of job. That's a disappointment and it hurts. But still, we got to have a praise. We got to have a praise. Death hurts. Disappointments hurts, but but then distancing hurts. We we social distancing right now, and that's the reason why we're here where we are virtual in our virtual sanctuary because of distancing. And, and and I mentioned on the other night that being quarantined is depressing. <laughs> yeah, it's depressing in some instances, and it's de directly opposed to what we want and what we need. You see, distancing hurts because you can't touch your loved ones and you can't physically be in their presence. And even when you might uh, by chance go visit them, you can't hug them because of social distancing. And, and that hurts, y'all, because we're used to uh, touching one another. And it's something that we need. It's something that we want. And listen, I, I got to pause parenthetically here and say, pray for our saints. <clears throat> pray for our senior saints. Pray for our senior saints who may not have anyone with them and family is cautious about entering their homes because of the, the Rona, the coronavirus. Y'all gonna help me this morning. And so, so, so uh, uh, it hurts, death hurts, disappointments hurt, distancing hurts. And, and listen, but I'm reminded, <laughs> I'm reminded of the song, Trouble in My Way. Oh, y'all gonna help me. 
I have to cry sometimes. So much trouble, the trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night, but that's all right. Why? Because Jesus will fix it. After a while, y'all gonna help me. Somebody ought to, ought to be clapping your hands right now. Somebody ought to be shouting right now because Jesus is always right there. I'm, I'm going to my last point. I know y'all ready for me to get through, but listen, you will have hell in your life, but you still ought to have a praise. You will have hurts in your life, but you still ought to have a praise. But the last thing I want you to know is, is that you will have some hallelujahs in your life. <laughs> yeah, you'll have some hallelujahs in your life. The, the, the C part of the verse says, and the third day rise again. Yeah, the third day rise again. There ought to be some hallelujahs right there because we are at the point where it says he is not here. He is risen. Now, why is that? Because the third day came and Jesus rose. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus rose, y'all. Jesus rose, and that's the reason why we ought to have a praise. Now, listen, if you've been reserving your shout for a special moment, then this is your special moment. <laughs> yeah, and after the storm and the rain, the heartaches and pain, I'm here to tell you that the sun will shine again. Uh, we're going through the pandemic right now. We're going through some dark days. We're going through some uncharted territory, but I'm here to encourage you, keep your praise going because the sun is going to shine again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to shine again. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, yesterday it was a little dreary. Yesterday the clouds were out. Last night it was raining. I could hear it outside the window. But look at this morning. The sun is shining again. Oh, y'all going to help me this morning. The sun is shining again. Now, listen, there were some bad things that happened on Good Friday. But Sunday morning brought about the climax of the good news. <laughs> yeah, he was he he who was dead and buried is now alive. And this in the coronavirus won't stop me from praising Christ. This pandemic is not greater than his power. This sickness is no match for our Savior. And listen, I, I got to tell you that, that it was a glory day uh, the other day when Jesus Christ was crucified. Uh, uh, Y'all know the story. He hung there in between two thieves. Uh, he was suspended between uh, time and eternity. Oh, y'all gonna help me this morning. I feel pretty good this morning. Yeah, and he hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. Oh, yes, he did. Uh, and uh, y'all know what happened. Uh, uh, he died. Uh, he didn't get murdered. Uh, he didn't get killed. Uh, but the text says that he gave up the ghost. Uh, and I'm so glad uh, that he voluntarily uh, gave up his life. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a gory day. Uh, but after Three days uh, and three nights, uh, he lay there uh, in the bar of tomb. Uh, Y'all know it did. Uh, and if I can use my spiritual imagination, uh, I'm going to help us this morning uh, because uh, the devil, uh, I'm sure he got on his, his my phone. Uh, yeah, uh, he called death uh, and he called the grave uh, and he told them uh, that man, Jesus, uh, he said after three days uh, and three nights, uh, he was going to get up again. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Huh? So death, huh? grave, uh, I need you huh, to keep watch over him. Uh, yeah, huh? after the first day huh? and the first night, uh, uh, he called him back and said, grave, uh, death, uh, is he still there? Huh? They said, yes, he's still here. Huh? And then uh, after the first, uh, the second night uh, and the second day, uh, the devil called back and said, grave, uh, death, uh, is he still there? Uh, and they said, yeah, we got him. Uh, I don't know uh, why you're tripping, devil. Uh, I don't know why you're so concerned. Uh, we kept Isaiah. Uh, we kept Jeremiah. Uh, we kept Ezekiel. Uh, we kept Daniel. Uh, we kept Joel. Uh, we kept Amos. Uh, we kept Obadiah. Uh, Jonah. Uh, Micah. Uh, Nahum. Uh, Habakkuk. Uh, Zephaniah. Uh, Haggai. Uh, Zechariah. And Malachi. Uh, we're not sure uh, why you keep calling back. Uh, he said because he said after three days. 
And three nights, huh, he was going to get up. Huh? And so uh, after the third day huh, and the third night, huh, they, uh, oh, yeah, the devil called him back huh, and said, death, huh, grave, huh, is he still there? Huh? Oh, Lord. Uh, and he, oh, yeah. But they said, uh, well, devil, uh, we don't know what happened. Uh, somewhere huh, between uh, good night huh, and good morning, huh? He got up, huh, and there is an empty tomb. Huh? Somebody ought to shout right there. Huh? Oh, death, huh? where's your sting? Huh? Oh, grave, huh? where's your victory? Huh? Ain't the Lord all right? Huh? Because my Savior was not there. Huh? He is risen uh, from the dead. Huh? Ain't he all right, y'all? Huh? Ain't he all right? He, he got up early. Huh? Sunday morning I, with all power in his hands. I, ain't he all right? I say, ain't he all right, y'all? Ain't he all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's all right. Hey, 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 yeah. Won't he do it? I got to praise. Huh? I'm praising him from my house, huh? but I still got to praise. Huh? The pandemic won't stop my praise. Huh? The coronavirus won't stop my praise huh? because he's worthy. Huh? Worthy. Huh? Worthy. He's worthy of all the praise. Yeah. Worthy of all the praise. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful this morning. Amen. He gave me another opportunity to praise his name. Another opportunity to preach his word so we can celebrate today our Savior getting up out that grave. Oh, grave, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? We have, we have the victory. We have the victory. We, we, we dare not be remiss at this point. Somebody may be on here. I don't know who all is on here, but somebody may be on here. You've not placed your trust in Jesus Christ. But today is a good day to say on April 12th, 2020, Resurrection Sunday, I, I gave my life to Christ. And, and today is a good day. You can contact us afterwards. You can send me a private message right now. Uh, but But listen, Today is a good day to place your trust in Jesus Christ. So he died for you that you might have the victory. He, he went through excruciating pain and, and died for you and then got up out that grave with all power of heaven and earth in his hands. And so today, I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what your life has taken you through, what decisions you have made. But today is a good day to make the decision to say, Lord, I want to surrender all to you. I've tried it myself. I've tried the bottle. I've tried the weed. I've tried the pills. I've tried women. I've tried me. I've tried some of everything. But today, why don't you try Jesus? Why don't you try Jesus? Amen. Why don't you try Jesus? Amen. 